We are here to see our patient who had Schomburg's disease. Many of you will remember watching the biopsy for the rash that was unexplained. And then afterward, we talked about how the, the rash was actually improving. <clears throat> our patient came back to us. And now the, the rash is completely gone. So let's go ahead and look. We're going to take out the suture where the biopsy was. Don't take this, my face. Yeah, I she doesn't want her face. In. <laughs> she gave permission to show her area where the, where the rash had been. And, and even though on the camera you see some uh, what we call modeling color, it's not what the rash was. This this is just um, this is just uh, circulation in the skin that causes that appearance. But but the rash is gone. It had been there. Mm -hmm. So the suture was an absorbable suture, and sometimes they take a long time to go away to get absorbed. And so we have to. If we want it to go away quicker, we just go ahead and take it out. And it's been well over two weeks, so we can go ahead and grab that with this, these uh, forceps here. It may pull a little bit there as I get the scissors under it and then pull the rest of it through. And then it's just healing up there from where the, the, uh, in, the punch biopsy was made. But we never did find an explanation for Schomburg's disease. The... Uh, there was no Tylenol exposure, so which is, was usually what what would cause it. And did, do we have any questions or comments? Or okay, just thought you guys hmm? hearts hearts. Okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the follow up. And uh, go ahead and turn us off. We'll do another one another time. All See you guys. Right.